Dad and I are here at my grandmother's house. Now this was the very first house my grandparents bought when they moved to Australia over 50 years ago. And we have so many memories in this house, but as you can see, hasn't really been touched since then. So, we are here today to do a nice big renovation on the bathroom of the house. Now, Yaya's knees have changed a little bit as she's gotten older, so we're gonna be making the bathroom much more accessible for her. We're gonna be completely gutting it, we're gonna be removing the bath, putting in a much larger shower. We're also gonna be bringing it up to the 21st century. Are you ready, Huddy? I'm ready. Let's go. <laughs> putting constructor floor down, so the minimum requirement is 450 millimetres between each beam. So Dad's just adding an extra... Extra support. Extra support, so we can just make sure the construction floor is really safe and supported. So what this is, is a, a flashing. With every bathroom you need to flash the wet area, so to protect obviously any water going through. So we've got this from CSR, and we're gonna cut it in place before we lay down the constructor floor. We're at the jip rocking stage of the bathroom renovation. We're using AquaCheck for the walls. Uh, it's a wet area plaster, which you can glue off and hold on to. So here we go. Our walls are all in now, which is really, really exciting. You can now see the size of the room, it's coming together. Our waterproofer came through on the weekend and he's now completely waterproofed. It's all now nice and dry. And our tiler, Adrian from Curcio Tiling, is actually in today. He said this green in the shower, so we're just creating a fall into the shower. And then we can start tiling later in the week. If you want to save money for the DIY, you can do most of the work yourself and you get the electrician to come in and just um, connect it up. So what you do, you follow the instructions, it asks you to cut a bit of a spacer and follow the formula on the instructions. Actually space it like that, tape one end down. Because they send you enough wires to cover the floor to the leverage you provide them. This one is called Rock Salt, so this will be the tile that we use for the majority of the bathroom. It's a floor and a wall tile, which is amazing. And then I've got another feature tile that I'll show you in a sec. But firstly, I just wanted to show you this is a matte tile, it's textured, so there will be no slip. This will be our feature tile, which will be running along the vanity wall. Um, the reason I've gone with really light colours is because I want it to brighten up such a small space. So it'll make the space feel bigger, it'll brighten it up, it'll feel lighter and more airy. <laughs> You know what my favourite thing to do when Dad's doing things? <laughs> <laughs> hey Dad, listen, the 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 few little delicious I've got there. <laughs> Dad, you've got hair. <laughs> it actually looks good. You have like an olive wreath around your head. Complete. Oh. Wow. I wanted to show you guys the sconces that I've chosen for the bathroom. So what I've done at Beacon Lighting, it's so handy. You can choose different fixtures and then the different glow to fit with it. So what I've done, I've gone just with a brush nickel plate because the rest of our fixtures in the bathroom are brush nickel. And then I've gone with this alabaster glow and I'm so excited about this. Beautiful um, glow because as you can see, it actually sort of reminiscent of the texture on the main tile in the bathroom. And because we're going to be push putting it up against here, it's kind of going to be reflective of that. And it's also going to have really soft light. So I've got two sconces going on either side, of, and then we've got the three down lights as well. So there's going to be a lot of light in here, but I think it's really important. Um, so what we're doing now, we're installing our exhaust fan. The main motor is in the ceiling, so I've mounted that, and it needs to be mounted, so it's soft vibration. I've run through the, um, the ducting, uh, through the hole, I've cut, up, cut, cut out to size, tape it over the, the um, faceplate unit, and then it should go in and, and then the job's done. <laughs> 